Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of The Buzz in Denton, where this particular video is gonna be the entire weekend of from Wednesday, September the 20th through the 24th. Uh, we're gonna break down every single day individually, um, just in one big compile. That way you can see everything that's happening all at once. And then the day before each day, like from Thursday, we'll report back on Wednesday, I'm sorry, on Thursday, we'll, we'll, we'll post what's gonna happen on Friday. On, on Friday, we'll post what's happening on, on Saturday as well, in case somebody doesn't wanna watch one giant video of everything that's going on. Though this video is important because it will include both Wednesday and Thursday, so you definitely wanna stay tuned. Yeah, excellent. That. Thanks for stopping here, guys, and, and hanging out with me for the Buzz in Denton. This is what's happening for Wednesday, September the 20th, and Thursday, September the 21st, all right? Uh, but before we get started with that, we do wanna give a shout out for our host, the Chestnut Tree Tea Room, uh, for allowing us to come in and use their property uh, with very nice backdrops so that we can, uh, so you're not looking at a green screen type situation. But uh, so anyway, without further ado, on Wednesday, September the 20th, uh, we start off for lunchtime, right? Uh, we start off with 10-1 Artesian Cheese. Uh, they do their grilled cheese Wednesdays. Always something fantastic there. Uh, they open the doors at 11 o'clock where they start selling them. And then once they're sold out, they're sold out. Uh, a lot They do sell out quite quickly sometimes. So, I mean, you definitely want to jump in on that. Call ahead, order your food. Um, you might want to jump on their website. I try and put links in, in the comments. So that way you can see what's happening. It's always something new and something fresh. They use that great artisanal cheese, um, homemade jams, homemade pickles that come with it, come with everything. Definitely go and check them out. Uh, then also that starts at 11 o'clock again, like I said. Now the Chestnut Tea Room uh, starts their uncorked happy hour uh, between on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays between the hours of 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. Uh, what they do is they do a bunch of shareable tapas that do rotate weekly. Uh, sometimes they do carry them from week to week. Um, and we also do some wines that kind of do that same thing. Uh, we are trying to get into the fall season, guys. They are trying to change their menu. I was just talking with Sue's. Uh, unfortunately, because it's 97 degrees out, it's not quite ready for the fall menu yet, but this week is pretty good. We'll have a separate posting for that. Stay tuned. El Taco H. Uh, is doing their Mexican bingo. That starts at seven o'clock. That is a weekly thing. So definitely you always wanna make plans for some of that. Steve's Wine Bar is, um, oh, I gotta step in a little bit, is doing Mark uh, uh, Tosent at 7.30. There is a $15 cover charge for that. He always brings, him and Karen always bring in some excellent, excellent jazz bands to take your time, stop out and see them. Uh, Dan Silverleaf, again, gotta step in a little bit here, is uh, Alice Star Green that starts at eight o'clock. Uh, that's at 12 that's a $12 cover charge for that again they usually get in some really really good bands so definitely stop by and check them up um, Harvest House is doing Soul Kitchen. Seen them several times. Uh, excellent band. They're fun. Uh, that goes on at 8 o'clock. That starts at 8. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, there's no cover charge for that one. So definitely stop out, check it out, and enjoy a free, a good beer with them. And say hi to the new owners for us, too. Um, and then we're also at Rip Rocks. They do their weekly trivia night that does start at 8.30 p.m. Uh, looks like this week is going to be a Steven uh, Spielberg uh, trivia night where they're gonna, it looks like they're going to focus on E.T. and Jurassic Park. So if you're knowledgeable on those, definitely stop out and see them. Now, Thursday, September the 21st, got a little bit more going on here, guys. Uh, Patchouli Joe's and uh, Joe. Patchouli Joe's Books and Indulgences. Um, it's, a, it's Stephen King's birthday celebration. Uh, stop by over there at Patchouli Joe's um, between the hours of five and eight and celebrate um, Stephen King's birthday, right? It is one of uh, Joe's favorite authors. Um, there's gonna be uh, there's gonna be different specials they're gonna have coming up that wasn't available when I was when I was getting the information for this video, but they'll have different specials. Um, you know, they're gonna have cheesecake bites, they're gonna have pop a red balloon to win a prize kind of a thing. And obviously, if, if you are a Stephen King fan, you know what those references are, right? Uh, also, we've got the Denton Fire Department uh, at the central location over here is doing Prepare Denton event. Um, that's gonna be on the 21st. Uh, that is from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. It's a family friendly thing where they're trying to come in and train people and give you input on how to deal with, with disasters and things that come up, tornadoes, fires, how to do safety, things of that nature. There's gonna be training. Um, it's something designed for the entire family. So get everybody out there and just in case something does happen, everybody's gonna be prepared. Um, the Dime Store, I uh, do like them. They do those little craft things. If you haven't been by there, definitely stop by and check them out. They're doing a fall watercolor workshop starting at 6.30. 
It's a two hour event, small $45 cover charge to cover all the expenses, all the materials, everything that you're gonna need uh, to get that taken care of. Um, that does include some, uh, all your supplies. It actually includes not one, but two glasses of wine, water, pop, whatever they have for the refreshments there. Um, I think they do some, some, sparkling, um, some sparkling cider as well, so check it up. Uh, if you do sign, they did say on their website too, it, obviously not everybody wants to go alone. Um, if you're gonna take somebody with you, sign everybody up together, you do save 10%, so it saves you a couple dollars for that. Um, now we got on to D20 Tavern. Um, they do their LFP night. That is $5 for that. It starts at 7 o'clock. And that is for those that want to play the games that they have there, especially some of the bigger ones. Um, maybe they're just a single. They can't. They, it gives you a chance to join other groups. Um, it also allows other groups to fill that group up so everybody can have a lot more fun. If it's something that you don't know how to play, it's something you've always kind of looked at, they will teach you how to play. The people are patient. They're going to keep you going, you know. Uh, so definitely go in there and talk to them uh, and get that excitement up. Uh, 10-1 Artesian Shop, again, uh, is doing a, a, bl a, a blend wine tasting, okay? That starts at 7 o'clock, $30 cover charge for it. Um, it's basically wine from uh, Spain and France. Uh, it's blind, not, what, I, I don't know what I blend. I it's a blind wine tasting. They're going to give you samples of wine. You don't know what they're going to be. Uh, you're going to taste them, and you're going to be able to judge on what they are and try and figure out what they are by their characteristics. That takes about an hour to go through. Um, and they do have another one coming up in case you missed that one on the 27th to so take advantage of it. Uh, game Changers, right? One of my favorite places because they have great food. They really honestly do. If you haven't had their food, check them out. They're doing their karaoke night starting at 730. That's a weekly occurrence as well. Uh, let me see. We've got Steve's Wine Bar. Always got good bands in there again, like I said. He is doing, sorry, my, my, my what do they call it's coming out? Nick Frazier Sextet. Um, it's 7.30 p.m. Again, $15 cover charge for that. I've seen them before. They're actually excellent. Go check them out. And then we've got uh, Rubber Gloves. Rubber Gloves is doing She's So Extra. Um, that, goes, that starts at 8 p.m., $10 cover charge. Now, this is a drag burlesque show, so it is 18 and up only. Um, and then uh, let's see if you happen to have a a student ID or you wear it looks like a, a school shirt um, it'll save you two bucks at the door now keep in mind though that is for a fundraiser it's for the outreach of Denton's uh, spectrum teen group um, so any any teens that are uh, you know trying to, 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 to become the person that are, they're, they're intended to be in the first place it helps support them uh, so definitely go out and check them up it's, it's a really good cause for everybody um, Kava culture is doing their bingo night that does start at 8 p.m. that is a weekly occurrence as well and then to wrap things up for Thursday, um, we've got Dan Silverleaf is bringing Jonathan Jitter and the, and, the, and the Revelators with Royal Sons. That show starts at 8 o'clock, small little teeny $10 cover charge. So go check all that out. That's what's happening for Wednesday, September the 20th and Thursday, September the 21st. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Hey, folks, welcome back to another episode of The Buzz in Denton, where we're doing the What's Up Weekend Denton Wrap Up talking about everything that's happening uh, on the weekend or everything that I could find. And today we're gonna be covering simply Friday, September the 22nd. Um, so definitely stop by also. We wanna give a shout out before we get into it to our host, the Chestnut Tree. Stop out, enjoy their delicious tapas from four to eight, some cheap wine and go from there. So anyway, uh, without further ado, what is happening on Friday, guys? Uh, first off, we have the, uh, the Rialena's uh, family shopping fall event. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. That is something that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It does start um, at 10 a.m. Uh, and then uh, if you're not familiar with what that is, basically it's a, it's a children's consignment pop-up shop uh, that they do twice a year, once in spring, once at fall. It's over there at the Embassy Suites. Um, basically, people take good, clean clothes and they put them in there on consignment and then you get a chance to go in there and buy them. Uh, which is awesome because you're getting good quality stuff. They do filter through what they're going to want to allow in there as far as cleanliness and, and, and whatnot. So they, they are picky and choosy. Um, so you're getting good quality stuff at a reasonable price. Um, I think the amazing thing about it is, um, especially if, if you go into the website and look, uh, they also do... Um, so. It, Come Saturday night after hours, you have you can pay a small fee to get in and kind of get a discount on some things. Um, anything that's kind of then kind of same. I don't know what happens on Sunday. Um, 
But you definitely, first off, you want to jump on their website to schedule your time in. That's the most important thing. They do limit who comes in. But a lot of times what happens is the people that donate those, those items, because it is consignment, um, uh, part of what she does is whatever's left over, um, the people have an option to go ahead and let, that, let those products go to children's services and things like that, children in need. Um, so you definitely want to kind of support that. A lot of the proceeds go to, to pe the, the children in need as well. So go check that out. Um, again, the link's going to be in, in the comments for you guys. Uh, that's Rialea's Family Shopping Fall event. I got a chance to meet the owner of the one here in Denton. She's an awesome, awesome person. Um, Clear Creek Heritage Center um, is doing their night hike at 6 p.m. Um, looks like I got a little bit out of order there, um, but oh, no, actually, that's that's right. It actually does start at 6 p.m., and that looks like everything else is starting on Friday after that anyway. So small $5 cover for that, about an hour, so it's probably about a three-hour walk, something like that, maybe four miles, something three, four miles. Takes about an hour, something like that. Should be a fun time, night. Instructor, I'm sure, is going to give you some input. Uh, very family-friendly event, so go check it out. Patchouli Joe's and Books, again, one of our favorite places, right? Uh, they're doing short story reading. Uh, take your kids in there. Uh, they do, or even, not just kids, for adults as well, it is short stories. That starts at 6 p.m., lasts about an hour. Go in there and listen to somebody read an awesome little short story for you, you know? Uh, support local, again, is, is the way we do things. Um, let's see, we have the uh, Denton uh, Parks and Rec is also doing yappy hour, um, little dog happy hour uh, that does start at six, it goes until 8 p.m. Um, this is a free event. Uh, it is gonna be at, uh, I think, North Lakes Park. I think at the dog, dog field over there. Jump on their website and look, for some reason I didn't write that down. Uh, there's gonna be food vendors there, pet treat vendors, lots of little things, plus your pup gets to play, right? Uh, which, is always the, which was always the fun part. I miss having my dog taken to the dog park. Theater Denton. Um, they have a performance tonight uh, as well, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. That does start at 7.30. I've had a chance to see it. It's awesome. Uh, lots of little things going on around the entire thing. Lots of little noises. It's comedic. Um, you'll definitely love it. Go check them out. Uh, Rubber Gloves is doing the uh, motorsports. Uh, Rubber Gloves doing motorsports at 8 p.m. Um, that's there is a ten dollar cover on that. It is an eighteen and up because of how late it gets. Obviously, bars after nine o'clock. Um, you do have to be over a certain age to go. Um, uh, they have three different bands there: um, Memoir, A Curl, uh, Grass Waters, Flower Fades. Um, uh, they're going to be maybe a couple stages because it looked like they're going to have uh, Fluid Conduct, D Light, uh, Freak Freak Hours, uh, Fort Tail. Go go to the website and look. For some reason the ink in my printer is falling off so it's kind of hard to read on teleprompter by paper teleprompter i've got right here so uh, go check them out rubber gloves they always do some great shows get some cool and get some really good bands in there on a regular basis also now, plus it's a fun atmosphere in there you know you're inside you're outside it's wherever you want to be now over here at the yellow dog art bar and if you haven't been there you definitely want to go check them out they're having an art reception and sketch night um um, that does start at 8 p.m. Now, as far as what this is concerned, they're bringing in three new artists uh, and displaying their artwork around in the bar. Um, obviously, the owner's a uh, big, uh, incredible artist, so he's trying to highlight different vendors. Um, so there's going to be three new artists in there, which is fun to see what, they, what they're doing. The other cool thing is it's goth night inspired. Um, and what they're going to have is they're going to have live uh, models for sketching. So if you're an artist, you like to draw those type, and you like to draw and you're good at it, or even if you're not good at it and want to learn, go there. You can check out the goth thing, uh, get a good sketching done from these live models, which is awesome. There are going to be some snacks provided. There'll be a DJ spitting some of your favorite morbid music, you know, almost kind of getting you ready for Halloween, right? I mean, that's my favorite holiday. Um, then uh, we have down uh, next um, at Dan Silverleaf, Rosebud um, is going to be performing, and that is a Jerry Garcia cover band. Uh, a little Grateful Dead action going on, a little Jerry Garcia. That does start at 9. There is a $15 cover charge. My guess is that's probably going to sell out. So if it is something that you're interested in, definitely get in there, um, get your tickets, and go see it. I mean, you got to love the dead, right? Um, and then, of course, El Taco H does their weekly Latin nights dancing. That does start at 10 o'clock until close. Um, they have a DJ come in there, uh, doing mostly Latin music, obviously. A couple of times a month, you want to check on the schedule. Um, they bring Salsa by Joe in there, who will teach you how to do salsa dancing, teach you to do bachata, things of that nature. Uh, so it's always a good time. I've done some lessons through him. Fun guy, nice guy. I learned a little bit. Um, 
mostly that was my fault, not his. So anyway, that is for, that's the wrap up for Friday, September the 22nd. Definitely, if you see me out there, definitely don't be afraid to say hi, guys. Thank you. See you all soon. Welcome to another episode of The Buzz in Denton, where we're doing the, the uh, What's Up Weekend Denton special. Uh, today, we're talking about Saturday, September the 23rd, and everything that's happening. There's quite a bit going on today, so get ready. You're going to love it. Um, first off, UNT is on a bye week. I don't know how we got a bye week so early, but, you know, unfortunately, no place to see it. Now, next week, of course, is a home game, so definitely start preparing for that. Um, also, uh, I talked about it yesterday. Starting on Friday, we have the Ray Atlanta's uh, Family Fall Shopping event. Um, it goes Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, uh, it does start, I think, at 10 a.m. Jump on their website and look. The link should be in the comments. Um, it's a consignment, uh, a children's consignment pop-up area. Um, it does a lot of good things. You're getting high-quality clothes, cheap prices, um, and a lot of times anything that's left over will go to those in need as well, um, as long as the consigner doesn't mind. Uh, over right here in the courthouse, in the new courthouse right there on, on Loop 288, they're doing the Denton County uh, Preparedness Fair. Um, that does that starts at uh, looks like 10 a.m. and goes until two. Um, you know what they're doing there is they're trying to kind of get people ready. Um, uh, for uh, disasters, emergency situations. So it's a family friendly event. So you can go in there, they'll have a little workshop set up so you know what's happening. There's gonna be some classes, there's gonna be vendors, there's gonna be games and activities. They call it what they're calling touch a truck, which is where you can get up close and personal with a lot of the emergency equipment, you know, uh, be it the fire trucks, the, the, uh, the ambulances, things of that nature. So the kids would love that to climb all over them, kind of get a feel for what's happening. Plus, it's always fun to see what we can see, right? Uh, Patchouli Joe's Books and Indulgences is having their indie author book fair. Uh, that starts at 12 o'clock and goes until 3. Go check out some new indie authors, some up-and-coming people. Um, they usually run good specials for those events as well, which is always a fun time, right? Support local. Again, that's what we like to do. Now, um, the Bearded Monk. Um, I don't know if you saw the promo video that they're putting out right now. Um, he's having his 8th anniversary uh, which is always a good, good thing, right? He's been in business for eight years, one of the first growler bars in Denton, one of the first bars to do like the microbrews and stuff. Um, that's September 23rd, um, uh, I guess today, like we're talking. That starts at 12 o'clock, goes all night. There's gonna be lots of bands there, lots of things going on. Um, hopefully you were there yesterday um, on Friday and you got a chance to do the, uh, the uh, to be part of the wor world breaking record of, all, of opening the most cans of, of liquid uh, in, at one time. Uh, let's see here. Moving forward, we have a, at the Denton County Courthouse Museum right here on the square. Um, they're having Texas Talks. That's going to be with uh, Jamie, or I'm sorry, Amy J. Schultz. Um, that starts at, at one o'clock, goes until two thirty. It is a free event. Um, this one is uh, Momentum's uh, story on Momentum's and how they came to be what they are today. Um, we might not know them as Momentum's. We know them as Mums and those big things that you know for homecomings and stuff. That everybody wears how they used to start really small and how they've gotten to the point where now. Um, you basically need a helicopter to move them from place to place. Uh, uh, there are going to be some books available there for purchase, but listening to her speak is going to be fun. Um, they do recommend pre-purchase, um, but again, like we said, if there is going to be uh, some available for, for purchase at, at the event, especially if you like what she's talking about and how fun they're going to be. Uh, the Denton Arts and Performance Collab has teamed up with Rubber Gloves. That's a great partnership there to do the Rub and Chug Fest. Uh, that, is, that starts at 2 o'clock. Um, it is an all ages show. Um, however, it's five dollars uh, to get in. If you're over 21, if you're under 21, um, it is going to be ten dollar cover. Uh, it, there's looks like two stages. Looks like 16 bands. Uh, there's going to be vendors there set up. Um, that's always going to be a fun time. So go check it out. The the Denton Public Library uh, and American Tattoo right here on the square uh, has partnered up to put on the Between the Lines fundraiser. Um, it's designed to raise funds for the, the different activities that, that go on in the, in the library systems. Uh, that starts at 11 o'clock and goes until 6 uh, p.m. Uh, a couple of things that it's doing here. First off, if you go to American Tattoo starting at 11, is a first come, first serve. Tattoos are 100 bucks. pretty much anything you want, right? Uh, there are going to be, of course, some restrictions. Um, they do have to be only on your leg or on your arms, and I doubt you're going to get a sleeve for 100 bucks. Now, half of that money, 50%, does go to the library found, and the, the other half does go to your artist. So, I mean, if, you, if you've been thinking about it, want a great deal on a tattoo and support a good cause, 
go to American Tattoo uh, right here on the square. Um, it is National Library Card Month, so it gives you a chance to sign on. I actually just renewed mine a couple days ago, and I did find out that as opposed to you renew them every year, now it's every three years which is awesome it's too easy to forget they are going to have some and keep in mind the, the money that they're raising for this goes to help them put on in very important workshops um, like ones they have coming up next week uh, which is a uh, taming anxiety you know an intro to forge and a lot of other things on there like you know how to operate word and excel some good soft skill trainings now moving on uh at wildflower art studio uh one of my favorite places got a chance to meet the owner on one of the wine walks they're doing an abstract acrylic painting uh, that does start at four, uh, 3 o'clock, goes till 4.30. Uh, again, small charge for that. Uh, you're going to walk away with a nice little eight or 11, 11 by 14 painting, uh, the guided. Um, it is a BYOB event, so if you enjoy drinking and painting, hey, this is the place to go. Go check them out. Again, the links are going to be in, in, the, in the ads. Uh, the Brown Thumb, cool little, uh, cool little spot right over there. Um, I forget the name of the street, but it's over where uh, Rosenthorn used to be, as well as the Howling Mutt. Uh, they are doing ab... I'm sorry, they're doing a sip and paint, all right? It starts at seven o'clock, small $40 charge, um, includes all the supplies needed and instructors. You have a couple different options there. Go check it out and see which one you want to paint. Um, obviously, always going to be a good time. Um, Steve's Wine Bar, I did double them up a little bit here and I put Steve's a little bit later than probably what I should have on this one. Starting at, it's going to be kind of a fun day. I put them together for a reason. Um, First off, at 3 o'clock, they're doing a free show, and it's going to be the Irish Music Experience. Uh, so you get to hear awesome band. I've seen them several times. Always good time. Uh, that starts at 3 o'clock. Now at 7.30, right there at Steve's, uh, they're going to bring in the Jose uh, Apoton, Apoton uh, presents the Latin Jazz. It's going to be Latin Jazz. It's going to be Irish Music in the afternoon, Latin Jazz at night, small $15 cover charge. Again, that starts at 3, 7.30. Theodore Denton's performance of, uh, of A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder does start at 7.30 uh, tonight it, on Saturday. Uh, so definitely go check it out. Always a good time. Uh, this is several shows in, so they should have all the kinks worked out anyway, right? I mean, nothing's ever perfect, but, it, you know, it, it, but it's always a good show. I've seen it again. Uh, the Dive is having Matchbook 20. Obviously, it's a Matchbook. Or, uh, 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 you know who I'm talking about. Matt, you can't. I can't think of what their name is right now, but you know who they are. They're a cover band. They go on at 8 o'clock. This one does have a $10 cover charge, but obviously they usually get good bands in there, especially cover bands. Um, uh, go check them out. They do have tables available for purchase as well. They do also have a VIP tickets available, VIT tables, uh, a little bit more, probably closer to the front. Go check it out. Uh, go to the Dives website right there near Corn Lake. Uh, Harvest House is doing a silent auction fundraiser for artistic ad autistic adventures. Uh, that does start at 12 p.m. Uh, I really got this one jumbled up a little bit, didn't I? Uh, that goes until 9. Um, they're, they're, they're doing a fundraiser for Camp Waves, which teaches autistic children uh, basically kind of how to do paddle boarding, uh, a little minor surfing, I'm assuming, because it's right here in Denton. I doubt there's big surfing here um, in our area. There's lots of items to bid on. There's actually a raffle for a golf cart. A uh, raffle for that's going to be 10 bucks uh, per ticket. Um, so you definitely want to go um, go check them out. Um, you know, support the cause. You know, it's always worthwhile. Um, and then also at Harvest House later on, um, Maple, uh, Mr. Pidge, and and Sashi and Bifocus go on at nine o'clock. So once the once the the auction's done, uh, the bands come on. If you're not familiar with those bands, you're talking about a little punk, a little pop, and a little indie rock. Uh, how could you go wrong with that, right? Uh, Dan Silverleaf uh, is having the slobber bones uh, at 9 p.m. However, right now that is sold out. You might be able to check, see if there's something available at the door. They put on a two-day show, both Saturday and Sunday. Unfortunately, both of them are sold out. They sold out quick on that one. Um, and then Dusty's um, is doing their karaoke uh, starting at 9 o'clock. Again, that is a weekly event. Uh, again, I love Dusty's, oh, that whole junction right there, just simply because it's they've got good food. It's hard to eat, hard to beat good food at fair uh, drink prices. So, guys, that's our wrap-up for Sunday, September 23rd. Uh, stop by, say hi. Um, if you see me out and about, don't be afraid. All right, thanks, guys. See you soon. Hey, folks, here we are. Welcome back to the Buzz in Denton. Uh, where we're doing the What's Up Weekend Denton Report. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about Sunday, uh, September the 24th. Uh, 
not as much going on as we have the other days, but there's still a lot to do. So I mean, you definitely want to, to listen through and see what's happening, right? Um, today is the wrap up of the Rio Lana's uh, family shopping fall event, which is a children's consignment event. Uh, lots of great clothing in there. They've got bikes, they've got toys, they've got all kinds of supplies for children. Um, that does start early and then closes down. Um, definitely go check them out. At least check out the website. Uh, if you know somebody's having a kid, needs some more supplies, go. They've got costumes there and everything, um, especially for Halloween, right? Uh, Miss Angeline's is having their fourth birthday bash. That does start at 11 o'clock a.m. The first 200, the first 200 people receive a free T-shirt, right? Of course, they're always gonna have drink specials. Um, my personal favorite is the carrot taker. Uh, don't know if you've had it yet. I highly recommend it go check it out uh that's miss angeline's fourth birthday bash uh wildflower art studio again you've heard me talk about them several times i love them they're doing an intro to stained glass i mean how interesting is that um that starts at 12 o'clock goes till four it's a long event because there's really a lot to talk about um fee for that of course uh, a little bit bigger than what you're going to see at most of them go to the wildflower art studio and check out what what, what everything's included um but you're going to you're going to learn how to score and cut glass you're going to how to solder and a lot more things of that nature um i'm assuming that is a byob event as well i'm not sure if i would personally want to to consume anything like that if i'm cutting glass and soldering but you know i don't judge uh, let me see, Theater Denton um, is having their A Gentleman's Guide to uh, Love and Murder starting at 2 p.m. Uh, always a good show again, you've heard me say it before. Uh, Dan Silverleaf is having Monte Montgomery show. Uh, that starts at three o'clock. Uh, cover charge on that one is $15. And then um, that's at three. At nine o'clock is the uh, Slobber Bones um, at Dan Silverleaf as well. Unfortunately, that is sold out. It's been sold out, I think, before even the beginning of the month. Um, but yeah, it is, it's a sold out show. Um, but maybe you can sell out front. You can listen to them, you know. Uh, Steve's Wine Bar, it is the last Sunday of the month. And over at Steve's Wine Bar, they're doing their uh, birthday Sunday. Um, that starts at five o'clock until seven. Um, it is free to get in. Um, they don't, I don't remember if they have bands there on them. It's usually just hanging out. Um, but if you were born in September, you come out and you get a coupon for a free glass of wine off their select list. Um, and they usually have some snacks and some food. Uh, they do ask that you reserve early or at least let them know you're coming so they can make sure they get enough. Um, cause they want to get enough, but they only get too much. Right. So if they have a, a, an idea, so just jump on and say, Hey, I'm going to be there. You know, let them know. Uh, the bearded monk. Um, is having their open uh, mic comedy night that does start at 7:30. That's also a weekly event. So stop by, say hi to Ben over there. Um, might be recovering from the from the gathering night before for his eighth anniversary, uh, but you know um, I'm sure it'll still be a good time. He probably won't be doing comedy. Other people will. Um, Vinyl Lounge, of course. Say hi to our friends Tom and Kim over there. Um, that's their karaoke night that does start at eight o'clock. Again, with it, it uh, at the Vinyl Lounge, their karaoke is a weekly uh, ongoing thing. Uh, so definitely make plans for that every so often. Um, and then Dusty's Bar and Grill um, is also doing an open mic comedy night. Um, theirs is at, theirs starts at 10 p.m. Uh, a little bit later than the other ones, but you know, hey, maybe you're out later on a Sunday. You get off work late, you can go in there. Um, but yeah, it's Dusty's Bar and Grill, again, one of my favorite places just simply because they've got good food and cheap prices. So, and that's our wrap up for Sunday, September the 24th. We look forward to seeing you out just there. Wanna, this, on this episode, we're gonna go over what's upcoming um, in Denton uh, for starting around September 27th and kind of going through into November. We got a few bigger events coming up that you definitely want us to kind of prepare for. I like to include that in this part of the segment. Um, so anyway, what were we planning for? Uh, around Denton on the 27th of September, mark your calendars, it is the Denton Wine Tasting Tour. Uh, that's from six to nine o'clock. Um, $25 cover for that, or $25 charge for that with a theme of going country. So put your boots on, get dressed up, put your hat on, come on out um, if you haven't been to one before you're basically going to different retail stores around town and you are um you know you're, you're just checking out the stores you're going to try samples of wine they either the the shop owner either supplies it or a lot of times with these events um they have different wineries that bring things in you get to check out so it's always a good time uh the Denton main street association um in october uh, starts their Twilight Tunes on Industrial Street. Again, this is not one uh, that's on the square like what they normally do. This is one over there on Industrial Street. They actually block it off. Um, it is every Thursday in October. Um, always good bands. Go check it out. They do block the streets off so the kids can kind of play around the streets. You bring your lawn chairs. You can relax. Uh, now, the Denton Arts and Jazz Festival is coming in uh, on Quakertown Park. That's October 6th, 7th, and 8th. 
uh, starts Friday at three o'clock, goes till Sunday at 10 o'clock. Um, definitely come out and check it out. That is a great, great free event. However, remember, it might be free to attend. It's not free to put on. So if you, uh, we do encourage you to definitely uh, buy from the, the festival's booths, um, which is mostly the beer, the alcohol, um, uh, pop, stuff like that, um, as well as there's a couple food booths out there that we do, we do do to support. Um, go check it out. If, you, if you're inclined, we are looking for volunteers. Uh, or not volunteers, I'm sorry. We call them top hands. Um, so definitely go out um, and volunteer. Uh, you do get some pro. You do get some. You get perks for for being for, for being a top ham with us. Uh, let me see. Um, our daily bread, um, Denton. Uh, I'm sorry. Our daily bread in the Denton Community Food Center has partnered with Harvest House uh, to put on uh, a fundraiser supporting the Empty Bowls of Denton. Um, that is October the 14th. Um, it's from 12 to 2. Um, it looks like you've got, it's a $30 cover for that, but you are getting fed. Um, they're going to have some vendors there to, for merchandise, but they've got people donating uh, food uh, for all of us for that money, which also goes to the, all the money goes to the, to the bowls, uh, the, um, the empty bowls uh, of Denton fundraiser. Uh, at the Ravelin Bakery, uh, Thai Squared, a Greenhouse, the Chestnut Tree are ones donating food that you get to try. Uh, let me see, we've got, and then we also have, of course, one of my personal favorite events, uh, the Day of the Dead Festival right there on Hickory Street. Uh, this is a two-day or day-and-a-half event. It does start on Friday night um, and goes all day on Saturday. Um, part of that, a little bit separate part of it, they do have the uh, Cirque du, du Horror. They do in four shows Friday, four shows total, one on Friday, two on Saturday, one on Sunday. The tickets are on sale for that currently. You definitely want to jump on there and get them now. That is something that sells out pretty quick. Um, on Friday night, they're also having a costume contest. Small charge to get in, but that, that goes with some of the other free things for the kids, especially around town. Um, that also, for that price, that gets you the next thing we're going to talk about, which is the Twilight Lantern Parade. Uh, so if you're part of the costume contest, you get to walk through in a small parade just to highlight everything that you've done. If you haven't been out to the th festival before, they've got vendors, they've got food, they've got everything that you need, right? It is a giant, what they call the coffin races on Saturday. Um, it's like a giant you know soapbox dirt where you're going down the hill you know you see people crash and the hay bales it's, it's a fun experience um we don't want to see cars destroyed we don't want to see anybody hurt of course uh but it's still kind of fun right um the other thing that they are adding this year which is kind of nice especially for the young ones younger ones um they are doing a mini coffin race if you think of it like a soapbox derby for for boy scouts right um for the entry fee that you get they do give you a kit so you can paint your car decorate it uh do whatever you want to do to get it in there and join it again small fee for that but that includes everything that you're gonna need and then lastly um Theater Denton um, on November the 16th. I think it's the 16th or 18th. Yeah, the 16th. Um, they're having their uh, Benjaluas and more. Um, don't know if you've been there. $30 cover to get in there. Um, really, really super fun event. Um, all the, a lot of local vendors come around, restaurants, um, you know, uh, upcoming restaurants, established restaurants. Uh, they go there and you get to sample food. Uh, you get to sample food, you get to sample some alcohol. Uh, you're not, if you don't leave there completely stuffed and miserable, you just, you did it on purpose because it's not possible. The food there is fantastic. You get to go to vendor to vendor to get small little samples of what they're offering. Um, and you get to have a great time. You really do. And you get to see a lot of good community people. Um, all that money goes to support Theater Denton um, to keep those doors open and, and everything else. So guys, that's everything we have upcoming um, from September 27th through November 16th. There are bigger things to definitely prepare for. Um, obviously, there'll be lots of other things going on.